Bueno, muy buen día. Estamos aquí con César Dash, eh, top 1 de Perú, y con el Gran Ro, los cuales está representando Gran Ro a Ecuador y César Dash a Perú. César Dash, comentarios antes de la personal. Bueno, espero que se dé un bueno, un bueno más, eh, más que todo que nos disfrutemos en el juego. Y nada, que sea un buen juego. Gran Ro, unos comentarios antes del juego. Buena pelea, nada más. Una buena pelea. Eh, ¿A cuándo vas a jugar? 10 wins. Eh, ¿La cuesta? 10 wins. 30 dólares. 30 dólares. Eh, ¿La casada? Vamos a ver. Que quede en constancia la casada. Con constancia. Ahí pon la plata en el banco. ¿Listo? Venga, papá. Primero. Entonces. Suerte muchachos, representen a su país, que comience el juego.
Buen día, eh, se va a comenzar la otra personal, Duquín Andy de Ecuador versus César Ras de Perú. <risa> Duquín Andy. Sí, lo veo al pana y sí, 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 mueve, sí, sí, mueve, sí, mueve, sí, mueve, sí, mueve, sí, mueve, sí, mueve, sí hay nivel ahí. Este, no, la única cagada que no, no me cuadra mucho es que esos players están medio abollados, pero vamos a igual a hacer la, la pelea ahí. César Ras. Bueno, a jugar y a divertirnos. Bueno, de, ¿a cuántos wins van a jugar? Creo que 15. 15 wins de casada. Sí, 20 tengo yo. 20 dólares. ¿Listo? Toma para uno, entregue el orto. Bueno, que empiece la personal. Primera pelea.
Ligón.
Hasta ahí, 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 hasta
Vení. Una agüita de la... Pues... Acá le doy.
Toño, Toño. A los Toño, soy Maru. No, no, para ir para traerla acá. Sí. Ay, ay. Ay, ay. Mañana la final. Sí, mañana, ya pasó. Es la abuela. Sí, sí. Yo lo mismo que Sí, la rueda. Mañana. Mañana. Mañana va a ser el mismo. ¿Cómo va a ser? Mañana es lo mismo. Bueno, ¿tú vas a volver mañana a
quieto, hombre, quieto, a ver. Vamos, vamos, tranquilo.
Pero... No es, creo. Fíjalo.
¿Ah?
sila patay sa iso ay alis sa alis sa alis
Bueno, se acabó la personal de la revancha. El resultado fue 15 Cesar Dash y 6 Duking Andy. Duking Andy, ya has jugado dos veces personales con Cesar Dash. ¿Cuáles son tus conclusiones del nivel de Perú? Y tu opinión personal sobre la... cuando jugaste contra él. Más que todo, para mí ese tío dice que a mí son Casi no le veo fallo. Por esa razón no sabía cómo atacar. Más prácticamente me iba a defender. Y ahí... Nada, nada, juega bien el pana, ojalá que regrese otro día porque la verdad es que no ha conocido todo el nivel de Ecuador. La verdad es que no estamos al 100%, pero tratamos de hacer lo que se pudo, ojalá que le haya gustado la visita y regrese de nuevo. César Dash, eh, ya jugaste las dos personales, ¿cuál es, o, ¿cuál es tu opinión sobre Duking Andy? Es un buen player, eh, me siento un poco oxidado, pero me gustaría volver para jugar de nuevo ¿no? y aumentar más en nivel. Bueno, César Dash, eh, tus comentarios hasta el momento en la COF 98, ¿cuál es tu opinión en general? Eh, el nivel de Guayaquil es muy bueno, como dije la vez pasada, el nivel de Guayaquil falta explotarlo más. O sea, que está afuera, que se encuentre, que se enfrente con otro para que se pula más, para que aumente más el nivel, porque acá hay nivel, acá hay nivel. Bueno muchachos, felicidades, buen reto. Cuídense. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Depends on what part of the world you are. We are finally time to get, or it's finally time to get started with Battle for Ecuador 2014 videos. Uh, so I figured it'd be time to give you another update. What's going on? What you're going to see, etc. Well, we're just now beginning to get the videos going. So I want to highlight a couple things, and as I feel the time to do need to do so, I will. Uh, what you are uh, just will have just watched is the complete personal match of uh, Duck King Andy versus uh, Cesar Dash, the rematch. And because again, the first match we weren't able to get it fully recorded due to issues with the big row, etc. And as I mentioned in the other update uh, before the, the past one, so uh, this is a first of 15 rematch between. Duck King Andy, one of the tops in Guaya Guayaquil, and Cesar Dash. First and foremost, I want to also congratulate MCZ LDA Luis Cha for winning NEC 15, KO 13, LDA Mysterio getting second, uh, Romance getting fourth, and even Ray Reynolds for getting third place. Now, I you know had obviously confidence that my guys would go there and place, and that's what they did. So they handled their business, so I want to say congratulations. They are going to play a personal match, and... Um, Uh, they have played it, and uh, when I get those videos available, I will upload them as well. Um, trying to think what else is there to cover. Basically, guys, um, we're going to finish the Battle for Ecuador footage, and I'm going to need to take some time away again for to focus on business matters, and I'm going to focus as much time as I need, so that when I return, I would, if you know things go the way they should, I should return with a force the likes you've never seen of this time. So this will be uh, far, far Uh, stronger than what you have seen in the past if things go well. Rest assured of that. Um, so, I uh, hope you're enjoying the matches. Like I said, we're going to keep going. And we have uh, Cesar Dash, basically, he won all of his matches, guys, except for one personal match versus uh, Yagami-san in 2001, which you'll see. It's a rematch. Yagami-san beat him 29 to 19. Um, before then, I want to also comment on some of the issues going on in the, in the forums, which I want to comment on. 
guys, I'm, I'm a businessman, okay? So, unlike in the past, I don't have time for all the drama anymore. I really don't. I'm focused on business, the bottom line, and just getting things done. Um, I leave all the drama, all the talking, all the other stuff, speculating, all that, for the other guys. Uh, I don't have time for all that. So please don't try to tag me in the issues and drama. I, I, don't, I don't have time for that, and you will get a very quick rough uh, response if you continue to do so. I don't have time for that anymore. So just want to make that very clear and, and make it quick. Um, in regards to the memes, those are from people from Ecuador. They're posting the memes. I have nothing to do with it, neither does Cesar Dash. They're the ones making them, and I'm just deciding to share it up with people as fast as I find them. That's all. It's some light fun, nothing serious. But that's really how it is. Some people are taking it too far. Uh, some people uh, take the video games too far, as I've said in the past. Some people, um, they their egos are too big in KOF when, to be honest, for a video game player, they're uh, outside of your little bubble, outside of your little bubble, which is video games, the rest of the world doesn't even know that you exist. And that's why I find it very funny when I have all these people criticizing videos and you're a scrub and blah, blah, blah. No, you are a scrub. <laughs> I mean, people you want to call, if you, you know, you want to call me a scrub or whatever, then I will call you a scrub in real life. And that will shut that up. I will say, okay, you may be a better player than me in this game, but I am a better person player than you in real life. This is me, top player in real life. This is you, low level in real life. So that's how I come back on people like that, and they have no comeback on it. So that's just all I have to say about that, and I, 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 I tend to shut them up. Um... Another thing I want to comment on, people talking about Cesar Dash versus Equi versus Shao Hai and all that stuff early. It's way too premature, guys. Um, we're starting this new chapter with 98, so I'm going to take my time with it and go through all the channels. Uh, China, I want to look at people look at China as the final stage. Um, Chin Shin has given me a wealth of information about China. Um, I've been trying to tell people for, God, back in the pre and meal days, that it's not the people that you know, it's the people that you don't know that are the strongest. And, um, but just proves my point again, you've got, um, Xiao Hai is not the strongest player in 98, according to Chen Shen, who he has direct contact with the Chinese players in China. Um, it's, uh, he says Fang Bo, um, Xiao Hei, and another player, he says, are stronger, don't be stronger than Xiao Hai. Xiao Hai, but he's one of the tops, world class, but he's not the best. So, uh, guys, you just gotta, again, you know, the, 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 the plot, the plot thickens. But back to the, the, the whole thing of Cesar Dash versus Xiao Hai. It's not time for that yet, guys. Um, I want to take him through the channels, train him up, train him, Ale, and maybe even Helio, if Helio wants to join us, the LDA crew, train them up to where I feel comfortable yet. And that means I need to take them through what I call the LDA boot camp. It means I'm going to take them through it. All these countries, Ecuador, just start. We're talking Japan, Chile, Brazil, uh, Peru. I mean, just, guys, all these places. I want them to be, Pakistan, I want them to be as ready as possible before I decide to send them to the... Um, to, to China to play, or vice versa, paying $4,000 to send Shahai or someone to Peru. I want to make sure they're ready. And so I'm going to do everything that I feel possible to make sure that they're ready before I fork out that type of money. And I want them to prove to me that they are ready. I mean, you got to look at it like uh, it's an opportunity to do. You need to go and learn as many different styles as possible, lower your ego, and just go come willing to learn. There's always people out there that can beat you, and you just need to accept that. But, you know, it's, it's, you can still have confidence in your abilities. But you got to be able to be humble, humble, mature, and understand that learning is a process to how they're helping you determine how you get better. If you win all the time, you can't, you won't, you will, you won't learn anything. But if you lose, you will learn. So uh, it's, it's. A, I hope my, I try to make sure my players are humbled you know, and humbling because so they nail. There's always someone out there to beat you. And try to learn as much as you can by the person that can beat you because that's where you're gonna learn your weaknesses, not from the person you're beating all the time. That does nothing. Gives you a false sense of confidence. You think you're. As some players in Ecuador are finding out, there's some certain players, you know, they thought they were you know, God's greatest gift because they, they didn't leave their country to play. And, you know, as soon as I sent Cesar Dash, they're like, well, dang, okay, I'm not as good as I thought I was. That's the point. Yeah. And so I, I really don't understand it. <laughs> so, but that's my soap opera on video game and video game players. And obviously, as a lot of you know, I have a lot of experience in that. So I'm a, uh, at a different stage in my life right now. I don't want to deal with all the extra trauma and stuff. And I like the way my, 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 my my life is going right now. So uh, that's basically all I have to say for the moment, guys. Um, that's basically it. Like I said, I'm gonna, I have a, some more matches coming. And I'm going to continue to upload them, but I hope you enjoy the matches that you're seeing right now. Now, I'm going to briefly translate some of this in Spanish, and then um, I will see you all later. And when I need to do another update, I will do so accordingly. Um, buenas tardes a todos. Um, buenas noches. Oh, no, no. One more thing I want to say. 
There's a pending $2,000 money match between Kula and Bart. And we're working on the details right now. And um, as soon as I know about that, I will let you all know. That's that's that. Buenos dias, buenas tardes, buenas noches a todos. Y solo quisiera avisarles que ahora estamos subiendo los videos de Doc King Andy versus Cedar Dash del, del, del evento Battle for Ecuador 2014. Ya lo han visto. La revancha solamente. Ahora vamos a seguir con Cedar Dash vs Big Row y más rectas después. Y vamos a seguir adelante. Acerca del tema de los memes, no los estoy haciendo ni, ni Cedar Dash. Son, son hechos por las personas del Ecuador. Solamente estuve compartiéndolo en los foros de Facebook para diversión nada más. Uh, pero algunas personas se enojaron otra cosa y le tuve, yo le, le quito porque, lo quité porque no, no quisiera nada de eso. Um, um, a ver, ¿qué más? Uh, solo quiero decir felicidades a Luis Chapa al ganar el torneo de NEC y al Misterio. Segundo lugar, el Romance ganó cuarto lugar y el Reino, ter tercer lugar. No, no tuve, no, 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 no tuve ningún, ningún duda que iban a, a hacer bien. Y igualmente voy a... Quiero decir que hay una money match entre el Bart y Kula. Está pendiente para el marzo de 2000 dólares. Eh, eh, siguen atentos, atentos, voy a decirles cómo sigue. Será, será la batalla verdadera para el número, la, la, el número uno de 2002. Um, ¿Qué más quisiera decir? Um, Seamos cosas que quiero decir, voy a decirles, pero uh, Reynolds de Cedaras Rashad High, eso es más, muy, muy lejos, porque creo que empiece en su propio camino. César Dash y los demás, de 98 hasta que el, el último nivel sería el China. Pero um, eso es todo que decir ahora mismo, solo que les um, si, que hacer comentarios o algo así, solamente trato de enseñar a todos el respeto, sin los, con los comentarios uh, inmaduros, porque eso no, no trae nada de criticar, así, es, es, no trae nada, entonces es como, um, pues, enseña respeto siempre, o lo, tú sabes, ustedes saben que yo voy a morir a los comentarios. Eso es todo, y que tengan un buen día, y feliz Navidad tarde, etc. Happy late holidays, guys, but that's basically all I'm going to say, y'all take care. Bye.